I'm Nassim uh, Samboli. Um, I recently got my PhD from University of Colorado Boulder, and right now I'm a postdoc student at Tufts University. So what I want to talk about today is uh, the intersection of data minimization and fairness. So machine learning systems um, are developing so fast and uh, a lot of our decision making processes are delegated to them, um, especially now. So in order for these systems to make decisions for us, uh, they have to know us. And in order for them to know us, they have to collect a lot of data about us. But now, today, as a society, we are realizing more and more that these data collection processes are causing issues for um, everybody, causes like privacy issues. Uh, what if that data that they're collecting is hacked? And what if third parties, uh, what if it's they're sold to third party parties? What if, um, what if like this um, data is biased and causes the models to act the same way? So, um, General data protection regulations in Europe, which is called GDPR, are a set of principles basically for all the companies to protect the consumer privacy. And uh, a lot of the countries are also applying these rules to protect these data privacy, like Australia, Canada, all around the world. And a lot of the states um, in the US are also um, like applying the same or similar um, regulations. So um, these principles try to uh, protect our data. Some of these principles, like examples of these principles are accuracy, transparency, fairness, data minimization, um, and um, so on and so forth. So um, data minimization that I'm working here on um, is basically limiting the companies to gather as minimum data as possible uh, while it's adequate, it's uh, relevant, and it's like um, specifically uh, designed for the purpose that these companies have, not more than that, and not the irrelevant data to their purpose. So um, on the other hand, like this data should be enough to mm, so these companies can provide a good quality of service for people. Uh, so the other principle, one of the core principles of GDPR is fairness. Fairness means that uh, whatever we're doing with that data, the data collection, the data processing should be, uh, shouldn't cause any harms for individuals or society, it should be fair. So these like rules and regulations are very general, they're very vague. So, and the intersection of these uh, rules aren't, um, aren't uh, studied. So what I'm studying here is uh, basically ideas to operationalize the, um, the concept of uh, the principle of data minimization uh, through active learning strategies. And uh, I'm investigating the intersection of uh, fairness and, and the trade-off of fairness with data minimization. Um, so I'm using active learning. Active learning is a smart way to collect data so you can achieve a purpose, like based on their like informativeness, based on their representativeness, you collect the data and you make sure you achieve your goal. Let's say you achieve a high accuracy or fairness um, and etc. So um, I'm like this data collection, like, uh, let's say we apply the data minimization, it, we still might cause some unfairness. We might um, collect an imbalanced, un unbalanced data. Uh, we might collect more data in the majority group than the minority group. So the minority group might not experience the same quality of data as the others. So uh, what um, I want to do is to design an active learning uh, strategy like as this is a, a means of applying the data minimization rules. Uh, while making sure that um, we have a reasonable accuracy so the companies can apply these and use these uh, basically methods. And at the same time, making sure that we're not increasing unfairness and making sure that we're decreasing uh, unfairness, basically. So I'm uh, using active learning strategies uh, as a means of uh, implementing and operationalizing data minimization principles um, and I'm studying the intersection of um, the data minimization principle with the fairness principle. So my goal is to design a method that incorporate, incorporates these two and um, 
and I'm curious to uh, see what the trade-off between these two concepts are and how we can apply them together.